Hi, this is Amanda from MoreAware. Welcome to Quote and Order Forms. Log into your CounterGo database. From the left side navigation, click on Settings, Quote and Order, then Forms. You'll see there are already some default forms in your database. Let's update the first one. You'll need to change each form individually. To make changes to the existing fields, all you need to do is click on the field to open the Edit Field box. Start with the header field to add your logo and contact information. From the Logo drop-down menu, select New Logo File, then choose File to Upload. This will let you browse your computer and cloud storage to grab your logo. Under your logo, you can set the height and width. We recommend only setting one to avoid distorting the image. Take a look at the subheader field. Let's add your contact information here. Delete the fake information and enter anything you want to appear at the top of your form when you print or email it to a customer. Just below the subheader, you can change the font, text color, and background color of the entire header field. It's easy to reposition your fields. Click and hold any field to drag it to a new spot. Watch for the two blue arrows with the orange line to show you where the field will be when you release the mouse. The location is based on where your cursor is, not necessarily the edges of the field you're moving. You can also add additional fields to your quote form. The circle with a plus sign is the add icon. Whenever you see it in CounterGo, you can click it to add information. In the Data Type drop-down menu, there are two types of fields you can add. Related Info, which will pull information that exists in your quote or order, and Formatting, which will add fields that can help you customize how your form looks. I want to add the Salesperson field to this form, which is found in Quote Info. From the Name drop-down menu, I see every possible field in this category I can add. When adding fields, they'll appear at the top of the form, just under the header. I'll click, hold, and drag the field where I want it to be. Adding in some empty space can make your form more appealing. Let's add a static text field and leave the text area blank to create some space. I want to remove the border around the field, so I'll click on it again to edit. Towards the bottom, be sure you've selected the Cell tab to set the border to zero pixels. Take some time to click around in each field to see what you can change. In the Quote Lines field, you can show or hide the total square footage and slab count, and set how you want your prices to display for the customer in the Show Prices For area. Take a look at the bottom of the form and make sure the default text reflects how you do business. Need to make a change? Just click in the field and edit the text. We've looked at how to add fields, but what about how to remove them? I'm going to take this white space out, so I'll click on it and then click the Delete icon. You can create new forms from scratch, but sometimes it's quicker to copy an existing form. See the small Edit icon by Form Template Info? Click on it to edit this area. Before we copy this form, this is where we can designate if this form is to be used for quotes, orders, or both by clicking a selection from the Usage drop-down menu. Click the Duplicate icon. I'll name the copy, then click Save. Once I make a new copy, CounterGo immediately opens it. I can see all my forms by clicking on Forms in the left side navigation. There's my copy at the bottom. If you want to change the order that the forms appear in drop-down menus when you go to use them, click on any of the underlined numbers in the Sequence column. Click and hold on the double-sided arrow to move a form up or down the list. If there are forms you're not using, you can inactivate them so they're no longer an option when printing and emailing. Open the form you want to inactivate and click the Edit icon across from Form Template Info. Underneath Usage, check the box to inactivate this form. Don't forget, there are lots of places to find help as you're working. From the left side navigation, click on Help, then Search Help to open our online help center in a new window. That covers how to set up your quote and order forms to use when you print or email. The next video, Email Templates, will go through using your forms to email quotes and orders. 
If you have questions or would like to set up a quick call with one of our friendly CounterGo experts, email support at moreaware.com. Happy quoting!